On this day in labor history, labor activist and feminist Rose Schnitterman was born in 1882 in Savin, Russian Poland. Schnitterman immigrated to New York City's Lower East Side with her family in 1890. After her father died, she and her family became impoverished. Schnitterman worked as a cashier and later in a cap factory. By 1903, she started her labor activism, organizing the women in the factory and receiving a charter from the United Cloth Hat and Cap Makers of North America. Schnitterman would go on to join the Women's Trade Union League, an organization that supported female laborers. She rose quickly through their ranks, becoming vice president in 1908. With the help of the WTUL, Schnitterman went back to school. She was a key figure in the 1909 Uprising of 20,000 and spoke out virulently against inaction after the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire. Schnitterman expanded the suffragist movement to working class women, running for the U.S. Senate in 1920. Friends of Franklin and Eleanor Roosevelt, she had educated them about unions and was appointed to the board of the National Recovery Administration. She never married but had a lengthy relationship with Maude O'Farrell Schwartz. She died in 1972 at 90.